I'm Peg Breen from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We're at Francis Tavern in Lower Manhattan for another tourist and your own town adventure. Francis Tavern is known as the place where George Washington bade farewell to his troops in 1783 after winning the Revolutionary War. But the building's history encompasses a lot more than that famous dinner. The Francis Tavern Museum celebrates the city's and the building's role in colonial America, the Revolutionary War, and the early Republic. The building traces its history to 1719, when it was erected as an imposing home. It suffered a series of fires in the 1830s, alterations, and a variety of uses through the years. The Sons of the Revolution in the state of New York saved the building from destruction by buying it in 1900. The group restored it to how it looks today and opened it as a museum and restaurant in 1907. It's one of the city's earliest designated landmarks. Some other notable events. The Provincial Congress of New York met here in 1776. George Clinton, New York's first American governor, hosted George Washington here to celebrate the evacuation of British troops from New York. When New York City was the nation's capital, the tavern held the first offices of the Department of Foreign Affairs, War, and Treasury. Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr dined here at a public gathering in 1804, a week before their infamous duel. Tavern owner Samuel Francis was an early patriot. He helped foster the Sons of Liberty and the original New York Tea Party. Today, visitors can tour the Long Room, where George Washington held court, and the Clinton Room, which boasts Zubair wallpaper from 1838, Chippendale furniture, and original Chinese export porcelain, as well as a portrait of Clinton and his sword. There's a noted collection of genre paintings by John Ward Dunsmore, showing Revolutionary War scenes. There are maps from the 1700s and early 1800s, there's a series of Washington portraits and a room devoted to the early history of the New York Sons of the Revolution. The documents are held in early 20th century Tiffany Museum cases. The museum has regular docent tours, lectures, and events. These include an open house on President's Day, a George Washington birthday ball, and annual Flag Day parades. If touring the museum has worked up your appetite, you can eat downstairs in the portion of the restaurant that maintains the look of an 18th century tavern. Francis Tavern sits at the end of a now landmark block, and the Landmarks Conservancy helped save it from demolition in the 1970s. It's one of the few places to see what early New York looked like. So come on down to where New York began and to a museum that explores the city's role in the beginnings of our country.